Hello everybody, uh, let me welcome you on this session uh, where I will introduce Veeam Vanguard program. Uh, I'm Nikola Pekova, I'm managing this program for Veeam uh, worldwide and uh, I will tell you more about this program and awesome uh, opportunities that it's offering to the people that are part of it. So let's see what is the Vanguard program and the main points uh, for being interested in becoming the Vanguard. This is our highest level influencer program, uh, focusing on people who are experts in areas of backup and uh, those who are active online, even offline. And uh, we are trying to uh, keep it better and better every year. So far, it's going on for five years. And uh, in the beginning, we had quite a small group of people uh, and with upcoming years, the group was getting bigger and bigger and so far we are having uh, 83 members uh, of the program and uh, they are from all the countries all over the world. The only continent we are lacking so far is Africa, so hopefully we'll cover that as well in the soon future. Uh, so as I was mentioning, uh, Beam Vanguard program is uh, gathering together a community of uh, IT professionals uh, and influencers from uh, various backup areas that are in different roles to Veeam and uh, having experience at our products. And the main purpose of this program is uh, building a strong community of the people that are getting together, interacting, exchanging their experiences and uh, promoting the Veeam uh, products as evangelists so worldwide on conferences and as well on their blogs. Membership is not for life, uh, it's something that uh, Vanguards have to deserve because we are focusing on uh, people being active in their communities and uh, spreading uh, awareness about the Veeam products. So uh, we are every year making renewal pro uh, process which is opening at the end of the year and last till the end of the January when we are uh, closing the process and uh, by start of the February we are uh, announcing renewals for the next class uh, of the Vanguard year. All the program is run by a product strategy team, uh, which is covered uh, from uh, worldwide uh, evangelists, backup experts that are helping our Vanguards to get deeper insights to the products and uh, to get uh, more information that uh, standard users are having. So they are trying to support our Vanguards in case that they are needing uh, more information and support for their own presentations or blog posts. So uh, there is very strong uh, bound in between those groups. And uh, uh, furthermore, uh, this program is enabling our members to have the latest product information. Uh, our vanguards are having even uh, access to early betas of our products. Uh, as well, they are having uh, access to Veeam SEs and uh, they are having pretty um, much interactions together in testing and exchanging the um, experiences with the product testing. As well, they are helping us to improve the products by uh, reporting the bugs they found. And uh, what I think that is appreciated a lot is uh, the open-minded setup that we are having within the group because we are not here for just promote the Veeam products, but we are uh, open for uh, honest conversations. And we want to uh, hear, of course, what is great, but as well what is to improve in our products. So with these uh, interactions, uh, I think that uh, every Vanguard is leveraging uh, his own experience and even the level of professional knowledge of the products that we are having on the market. And as well, they are able to get in touch with uh, other experts from this area and uh, use this opportunity for their own professional growth. As well, uh, one of the huge benefits that Vanguard are uh, having uh, is early access to products, uh, betas, as well as the certification programs that we are having a lot of them, not just one. As you can see, uh, there are various product certifications. As well, we are having uh, Veeam certified engineer programs that many Vanguards are involving to. And as well, in case that they are in need of support for those certifications, we are there uh, for them to help them to get it. 
as well as I was mentioning uh, Vanguard's presence on the conferences. Uh, they are having uh, access, uh, unique access to VMONs as well to it perks as uh, other events related to the conferences as well they are able to uh, participate on uh, presentations that uh, Veeam people are having on the conferences and interact with them uh, with a uh, presentation and discussion panels so it's as well leveraging again the experience of every Vanguard in being professional not just um, technical wise but as well in way of presentation of uh, themselves as a professionals in uh, area of the backup. What is uh, uh, last but not least is the swag that we are uh, giving to the Vanguards every year but it's uh, not the main purpose of the program because uh, the main focus is on uh, leveraging experience both of the Vanguards and as well of the Veeam uh, to for benefic benefiting from interactions with the Vanguards but as well uh, with the SWAG, uh, we are enabling our Vanguards to spread Veeam love across the world when they are uh, present at uh, various conferences very often. Why is there the Vanguard program? The main purpose of it is uh, to bridge the gaps in between the products and uh, the users, like, I mean, end users, because as the Vanguards are representing users as well, they are having deep technical knowledge and uh, they are enabling us to prepare the best in class products for our users that are uh, using Veeam products every day. As well as I was mentioning the community aspect, uh, there is a strong community related to Veeam products and uh, we are exchanging the experiences not just uh, within the small groups but we are having as well uh, internal forums where our Vanguard can exchange their experience or even like report what they have found as a bug or thing to improve uh, in our forums. So it's the process of continuous learning because uh, with every release there comes uh, a portion of new information that they have to adapt to and uh, to share it as well to their audience and as well to their partners and uh, depends on the role of every Vanguard. As well, uh, being the Vanguard uh, gives a unique opportunity to uh, uh, everyone being part of this program to get the experience uh, from the feedback. As I was mentioning, our internal forums, there is a great connection uh, with R&D team who is uh, developing our product. So I think this is one of the most unique uh, experiences where you can really in, uh, influence how the final products will look like because you are speaking with the people that are working on their development directly. It's not just about the connection with R&D and developers as well. Uh, we are offering contact with our senior engineers of Veeam as well from the product strategy team. And uh, as I was mentioning, uh, we are all focused like, I mean, Veeam and even Vanguard to make our products uh, as, as good as they can be. And in total, uh, the purpose of the program is to spread awareness about the Veeam and its products and as well uh, we are not focusing on a certain way how to do it because every Vanguard is a unique uh, individual having his own story and his own ways how they like to be present. So it doesn't have to be, uh, it doesn't have to be just online but even offline on the conferences as well meeting with the partners, writing the blogs, tweeting, using LinkedIn, whatever. There are communities. Uh, even like the GitHub and those stuff, so uh, we are not like strict in this way uh, how Vanguard should spread awareness. And as well, uh, as I was mentioning that Vanguards can join us uh, within the discussion panels that we are having on the, on the conferences worldwide. Uh, this is a great opportunity even for other people who would like to become the part of the Vanguard program. So they could follow our Vanguards, uh, they can check our Van uh, Vanguard web that we are having uh, on Veeam pages and to see the story of every Vanguard because all of them are having bios with short introduction and you can even check the historically how the group of the Vanguard was changing. So. Let me introduce you some of our Vanguards. Uh, I don't have time to introduce all of 83 of those, but uh, I was lucky enough to meet here on the conference uh, some of uh, our Vanguards. First one that I will invite to the stage is uh, 
Karel Novák, but let me first uh, tell you uh, about uh, what they have to know before they will become the Vanguard. So the real Vanguard is the fan of the Veeam products and he is kind of an advocate or evang evangelist that is spreading this knowledge, as I was mentioning a couple of times ago, uh, across the world on the conferences as well with the partners. All of them are experts in backup areas and it's not just uh, the one aspect, but uh, they are focusing on different uh, types of backups and everyone has different expertise. But we are not focusing just to stay in your own uh, box, but uh, many vanguards are having opportunities to leverage their experience and to uh, learn something new and uh, become expert in another backup area uh, because of uh, having so much opportunities with exchange experiences with other vanguards as well with our R&D and SEs. As well, people uh, who are vanguards are helping us to spread uh, awareness about the program because there are a couple of programs uh, in IT world and uh, most of our vanguards are part of those programs already. Uh, I don't think that any of our vanguards is just the vanguard. Most of them are participating in many other uh, user groups and uh, even they are having the different roles to him. They are not just like customers, as well they are partners, MVPs, clients, resellers. And this is the reason why the group of them is so unique, because they are having different uh, angles of uh, understanding the Veeam products, as well they are having different experiences with them. So they can share this with the others, as well with, with uh, us. So they are giving us the unique feedback that we appreciate a lot. As well, I was mentioning those programs, so you can just see on the, sh on the screen uh, some of those programs that are uh, already uh, established in the IT area and uh, we are trying to build a community which is the Unix. So Karel, please, can I invite you to the stage? Hello VM world. Hello. <laughs> Great to see you here. And uh, yeah. I would like to ask you, Karel, you are the former Vanguard and you are with us for five years already. Uh, do you still like it? Yes, of course. I'm honored every year and I wish I will choose next year once more. <laughs> I believe that you will. <laughs> and uh, let me ask you uh, what you see as the biggest benefit of being the Vanguard. It's a great opportunity to meet amazing people and share uh, knowledge uh, about our products. It's the great because we are expertise in the totally different scopes and uh, vendors, so it's the great to share all knowledge together. That's great to hear it also from the people that I was talking about before a while. Karel is organizing local VMAX. He's uh, very known in Czech Republic and Slovakia. And uh, how long have you been organizing those uh, sessions? In this moment, seven years. Wow, that's even longer that the Veeam Vanguard program exists, so <laughs> Karel has really the experience. And uh, I know that you've been organizing uh, last Vima group in uh, like two weeks ago? One week ago. One week ago, yeah, so yeah. your experience is pretty fresh still. How was it? Was it full house? Yeah, it was great full house and great speaker, global speakers from VMworld speakers. Great. That's great. <laughs> okay, thank you, Karel, for yeah. this short interview. Yeah, and thank uh, you, Nico. I will thank ask. You. Enjoy VMworld, guys. Thank you. And I will ask another vanguard, who is uh, Pete Fletcher. Hello. Hi, how Pete. are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. Doing well. That's great. So tell me, you've been vanguard for three years already. What's, from your perspective, the biggest benefit of being uh, in this program? So I've been a I've been a member of several programs, as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. uh, help. I was actually a leader in one of another company's programs for a while, and I got to see some of the benefits and some mm -hmm. of the pros and cons, different ways to do it. And I think Veeam definitely is hitting the sweet spot. You know, there are programs like the Expert, great program. It's just way too big, and you really can't get the same access that you can mm -hmm. as like a Veeam Vanguard. I mean, as a partner or even a customer, I can tell you as a partner at working for VMware. Getting direct access to not only the engineers, but some of the leads, some of the founders. I mean, I can hit a Slack message and have a, and have a conversation with somebody who wrote the code in like minutes. And that's just, 
that's like almost impossible in any other company. You know, that's something that customers dream about, but as a partner as well. So I, I've had customer questions come in about Veeam, and I can just hit on Slack immediately and get an answer or at least get some direction. So having that, um, that immediate access is probably one of the biggest things. Mm -hmm. uh, but also, I, I've always been in backup in one way or another. I'm, I've always, I was passionate about Veeam before, you know, before I was a Vanguard, as mm -hmm. most are. So anybody who's passionate about being in community, it's also a great opportunity to, to you know, to network, just like you would if you were a V-expert, but also to be in a smaller group of experts and getting uh, access to them, but also getting opportunities to uh, to progress your own career, whether it's public speaking, whether it's writing blog posts uh, with, with, uh, with folks like Veeam. So lots of great opportunities for people in IT. Thanks for such a feedback. Uh, you were mentioning the opportunities, not just technical-wise, but as well like building your professional way. So Pete is having his own blog as well, the speaking podcast. And we had uh, last month the Veeam Vanguard uh, Summit in Prague, where Pete was as well like recording some podcasts oh, yeah. with his colleague, right? Uh, have you already published it or what is the reaction of the audience on the podcasts? So we always try to get inside. A lot of our customers, a lot, most Veeam customers are VMware customers, right? So there's definitely a vested interest there. And so we, you know, we want to speak to our customers and, and we want to give them what they know on the podcast. And so we do a lot of interviews with companies like Veeam. So we've had Michael Cade on many times. We've had some of your CEOs on there, Anthony Spateri and those guys. And so the answers that they want about Veeam, you know, we try to provide that. So that just that's part of our audience anyway. So there's a vested interest in interviewing folks like Michael Cade and those guys. Yeah, I think it's also a very, very rare uh, experience. And last question, Pete. Uh, for someone who would like to become the Vanguard next year or in upcoming years and build their own expertise, what would you suggest them to focus on? It's real simple. I mean, for one, you just have to have passion. You know, I feel like if you're here at VMworld, you probably already have a certain level of passion. You probably have a certain level of interest in this content anyway. So you're already on the right, you're on the right track. But if you're already blogging, whether you're a blogger, whether you're a podcaster, if you're vocal about IT in general, I think there's a place for you in the Veeam Vanguard program. Right. Thanks for this. And uh, I will um, ask you to... Uh, <laughs> uh, I will finish the conversation. Uh, okay, she will ask me to leave. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you. Sorry, see you. So, as Pete was uh, talking about how does one become a Vanguard, he was mentioning a couple of things that are already in the slide. So, no matter the area of the backup, just uh, experience is... Uh, the crucial thing that we are focusing on because we would like to have uh, the group of people who are active and who are willing to share their experience with others as well uh, as sharing the experience with us not just in between the group uh, as well uh, more vanguards to come uh, the group is getting bigger so we would like to still focus on uh, keeping the level of the expertise and keeping the level of uh, added value that we are bringing to the vanguards with being uh, too, uh, so close to them. So they can, as Pete was mentioning, the direct approach to Michael Kate and Anthony Spiteri and other uh, global evangelists that are uh, so busy. It's really a unique chance to, to do that. So uh, definitely the one who would like to become the vanguard should not be afraid of uh, being interactive, uh, asking questions and giving the feedback. As well as I was mentioning, that uh, we are expecting that the vanguards will be active online, offline, no matter the way, it's totally up to them. So uh, one of the other crucial things that uh, we are awaiting from the vanguards is being interested in our products, knowing them more, and uh, afterwards when they are learning something new, to spread this uh, awareness and uh, share this knowledge on their blog posts uh, and as well on their own sessions. As well, we are having the vanguards worldwide that are organizing, as Karel was here, uh, as a, one of the leaders of Czech and Slovak VMAC. We are having many other active vanguards on the different continents that are doing the same things, and they are even building the community in their own home areas. So uh, this is the purpose uh, for the future. So if you would like to become a vanguard, uh, keep an eye on our Web, uh, web page and as well on our Twitter because if uh, you would like to uh, apply for uh, becoming the Vanguard you can't miss it because if you'll be present online it will be everywhere uh, while we'll be announcing renewals as well uh, it's not just about work we are also having fun so on the pictures where you can see uh, with the boat one it's from last year Vanguard summit that we were hosting in Prague 
And uh, the other one uh, where we are having the silly heads, it's from uh, this year Vanguard Summit. And it's from uh, one event that went after the day full of sessions, uh, uh, which were full of new information. And we needed to let our Vanguards even get some rest and have some fun. So we had amazing time in Prague Brewery. And uh, as well, you can see on uh, other pictures below, uh, some examples of the swag that we are having and uh, providing to our vanguards, uh, which they can purchase in our shop for the points that they are getting for their activities. So as I was mentioning, the renewables and uh, opportunities to apply to become a vanguard, uh, you should be focused on the blog that we are having on the Vim pages. Uh, here is the example from last year, and uh, it was written by the leader of product strategy team, Rick Vanover, who invited all the people interested in nominations to apply. So in case you would like to apply uh, to become Veeam Vanguard, uh, you can reach Rick or me. Uh, no matter the way, we are on LinkedIn, we are on Twitter, uh, we are having emails and uh, there is definitely many ways how to directly reach us. So once uh, this blog post is published, it's about uh, late November uh, or early December. Uh, we are uh, evaluating the nominations uh, for the next year as well. We are evaluating the current activity of the vanguards that are already in the program. And as well from the new members, we are uh, trying to pick really the people who will fit into the group not just the work-wise, but as well like as a people, because uh, as I was showing you the pictures from the Vanguard Summit that was in Prague last month, and it was awesome event that everyone is, is super excited about. Uh, I also saw that there is really um, a strong community of people that don't share just the passion for backup, but as well uh, they are becoming friends in between uh, being Vanguards uh, so far. So. I had so many great feedbacks after the event that I think that uh, it's not about just building your professional growth, but as well making friends and uh, as well like colleagues worldwide and uh, use the ability to, sh to meet them on the worldwide conferences. As you can see here on uh, VM World in Barcelona, that I've already met here uh, Vanguard from uh, all over the world because uh, we know each other from the summit, and this is really added value that we are having the personal contact with our vanguards. It's not just a group of uh, some uh, anonymous people, you know, that know each other just from the Twitter or LinkedIn on forums, but we really know who is behind the computer on the other side. So that is as well a huge benefit for everyone who is uh, in the program. So I was already mentioning the dates, but still uh, it's good to remind them again for those who are interested in applying. So nominations are opening uh, yeah, December and January, it's still last. Uh, and uh, we are announcing uh, final results uh, during February. And uh, after announcing the new members and like the new class for new year, like 2020, uh, everything will be on the web page that you can see. And uh, for the new vanguards, I think it's really great to have opportunity to uh, ask uh, vanguards that are being in the program longer uh, about their experiences, some advices, and it's really uh, supporting groups and uh, no one has to be afraid to ask any, anything because those people are really trying to support each other, which is really great. As well, the main events for the Vanguards are uh, Vanguard Summit for sure, which is like the main event for the year where we all are meeting at one place. It's been Prague for two last years and for upcoming, it's gonna be the same, I think. And uh, as I was mentioning that Vanguards are having unique opportunities to uh, have an access to uh, the conferences with us. We are enabling them to uh, enter local VMONs, VMON forums. As well, uh, we are, cooperating with Vanguard uh, on Vimon Virtual, which is coming on uh, 20th of November. And uh, our Vanguards will participate on uh, Vimon Virtual in expertise lounges, where they will be uh, answering the questions of uh, the audience, which is 
leveraging another opportunity and experience of them because uh, it's kind of rare experience having online event, which is, uh, I think, one of a kind. And uh, they can meet so many people at one place and share with them experiences and as well learn something new, how to communicate with the audience and uh, get experience from the expert lounge, which is another benefit that I think that they like. So this is it, and thank you for your attention. And uh, in case that you would have any uh, questions regarding the Vanguard program, uh, you can contact me or Rick Vanover on Twitter or anywhere else online, and we'll be happy to answer your questions. Thank you.